So one of our lions went into a local jewelry store. She looked in the case and she saw a line of Judah pin. And the way she described it, she kind of got the shivers from it, goosebumps. And she said to the man, why do you have this? Do you, you know, where did you get this? And he said somebody, you know, brought it in with some other estate jewelry and they wanted to sell it. So she said, don't do anything with it. I want to make a phone call. And when she contacted Federation, they knew exactly what they needed to do. And that was purchase the pin from the jewelry store so that they could find its rightful owner. And it turns out that its owner was one of our founding members of Lion of Judah. And that was really heart-wrenching for a lot of people. It was like, we've got to do something. This isn't right. Maybe our families don't understand why we're wearing it. And it led us to this place today. Who gets it after I'm gone? Does the person who gets it know why it's important to me? What do we tell them? How do we tell them? How do we tell the next generation what, what the value is in the person wearing the pin? When my children look at the pin now or in the future, when they see it, first of all, I hope all my daughters and daughter-in-laws will be wearing one. <laughs> but um, I know, I know that they will see it as my legacy. The emotional experience of a great-great-granddaughter receiving my pen would be one that would tell her that I was somebody who valued philanthropy and who valued strong values and who wanted to give back to my community and build a legacy for generations to come, and she was that legacy.